and welcome to another exciting episode <laughs> of Feel It Real Fun. My name is Mr. 2020, <laughs> and this... Are we live? Oh, we are as live as we get, <laughs> Sav. <laughs> and this is Victoria. <laughs> Look at that. Hello. I love Hi, her. Hi, yummy, yes. I, I just love her to bits. <laughs> Thank you, babe. You're so good. got brown hats on today. That's right. Yasmin and Sheena. NJ. Is watching the show. Today we get to find out who is not in America and who's willing to skip the damn turkey for 15 minutes and uh, <laughs> join us on the show. Lizzie yeah. has joined this show. Autumn. Stella, Jim, look at you. Hello. Walking away from the turkey to spend time with us. <laughs> the turkey in the... In the fry, what was it? A turkey fry, wasn't it? That you do over there? That oh no, over that's there? what uh, Graham does. Right. Yeah, some people do it, but it what, turkey. Oh. Turkey's traditionally put in a yellow. Oh, he's Canadian. Yeah, he's isn't Canadian. He? He's yeah. from Canada. Canada. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We don't know Daniela, much about Canada. Heidi. Americans aren't good with geography. Oh, sorry, speaking. where am I looking? Jesus. Oh, oh there. there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you talk to people. Bill Perry. Are you kidding? Only because the turkey is still in the oven. All, oh, right. all right. Well, we all know Bill's turkeys with chips. Hello, Philip. Can we move over just an inch? Or no? Okay, that's as good as it gets. Yeah. All right. As all good right. as it gets. All right. That's as good as it. Bill! <laughs> I saw Bill! Did you? I saw Bill! Camouflage. Give my dad a hug, yes, right? Or at like least a handshake. Or how you doing? Camouflage shirt. Something, right? Just because uh, it's Thanksgiving Day. I was going to wear the camo shirt, you know, that my dad gave me. The one with all the deers on it and stuff. But uh, I didn't. So. Uh, oh, yes, I think I vaguely remember that. Yeah, that's a good one. You have more than majors. No, well, it's falling apart. I'd like it to last. Oh, uh, so yeah. It's like the only thing I have for my dad. It's a piece of clothing. Got ya. All right, Stella Jim. Fry I up. prefer fry up instead of for Christmas dinner. dinner. How are you yes. doing, though? All right, so, <laughs> Victoria, let's tell them where to go, what to do. Go to freenevel.com. That's right. While you're at freenevel.com, there's over 1,000 things you can do, right? Yeah. I mean, seriously, there's a lot. People send me questions. Well, what did Neville say about this? Use the search box. That's what Neville said. Go there, look at his picture. Use the search box. Then email me. Let me know what you found, right? Because I like that. Yeah. Right? Meanwhile, back at the French. Victoria? Yeah, join us in Manifesting Mastery by going to manifestingmasterycourse.com. Why not? Yes. Yeah, why not? You know, like... A uh, a. That's right. As he says. Uh, the... Anyway. <laughs> and Andrew Maxwell has joined. Actually, Hello, he's Andrew watching. Maxwell. Why is it that it says Andrew is watching? Like other people, they say it joined. Angie's watching. Hmm. Well, they're incognito. Interesting. All right. <laughs> Pauline Brown yeah. talk. There we go. Yeah. We're back okay. now. Here we go, guys. Pauline Ready? Brown, downtown. Neville, Thanksgiving, right? Here, let's talk about the myth first. Ready? Don't be thankful for what you got so you can get something different. Right? That's called... Crazy. Don't be thankful for what you've got so you can... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Every new age teacher is teaching that. You have to have a vibe of Thanksgiving for what you already have so you can get something oh. different. Right, well, I'm thankful, right, that, that I get beat every day by my husband, right? I'm thankful. <laughs> Hello, Jackie. I love you. No. Yeah, no, that's, it is weird. <laughs> it's like, but, I mean, I am thankful. I, you're my husband. Oh, you're, you're thankful for the good. You're, you're thankful for what you want. stuff. But I still know what I want. That's right. And still feel real for what I want. Now, here's yes. what we're going to do today. We're yeah. going to explore Neville Goddard's teachings on Thanksgiving, which remarkably are like what the Native Americans actually taught, but not the New Age ones. And is this is a, a still related to speed, I'm assuming? Absolutely, yep. Day this is the last day of speed. speed week. We will be doing the recap at the end of the show, so you Hello, can do all Jackie the homework. Jackie and Dom. And Daniela. Jesus, what was that? It's uh, one of those drop, people drop are your Facebook friends, it tells you if they're so Look at this. We outsource all this good, good stuff. Good on you, Daniel. This is great. Angela, topping the top pop, of the pop, day. Pop, 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 morning. Haven't seen you in ages. All right. Okay. Victoria. Yes. Do you want to read this? It's a small printer. Do you want me to? You can. All right. Neville says, my third way of praying is to simply feel thankful. If I want something, either for myself or another, I immobilize the physical body. Step one. Then I produce the state it can to sleep. And in that state, I just feel happy, feel thankful, which thankfulness implies the realization of what I want. Okay? You get it? So Neville says that. No, <clears throat> Neville said that. I assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled, and with my mind dominated by the single sensation, I go to sleep. Boom, so on and so forth. Right? Ready? He feels thankful that his prayers have been answered. He feels thankful that his desire has become his reality. Yeah. 
right? It's not about, I'm thankful for this shit situation, so I'm in the, the vibration that aligns me, that I can get more of what I can be <laughs> thankful for. That allows me to pay my mortgage. Yeah, but... see? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Right? That's bad, bad. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about tobacco real quick. Ready? Uh, the old fellas called tobacco the thank you plant, or whatever blend they were making the thank you plant. Ready? Why would they call it the thank you plant? Right? Because it's smoked with thanksgiving. It's not, oh, please give me what you think is best for me. Thank you, thank you, hope it works. It's thank you for granting me what I desire because my desires are God's desires. God speaks to man through the medium of his basic desires. By the way, uh, I, I got a little thing that says, how do you, yeah, it's like, how do you know your desires are your desires? I mean, most of our thoughts are not our thoughts. How do you know your desires are your desires? Yes, most, most of your thoughts aren't your thoughts, they're just thoughts. And most desires, they're probably not your desires anyway. They're just desires. Yeah, come on, everyone, the framework. I don't get that. <laughs> I think that's crazy, right? Because it's like, right, you know, I like, think how I know do... what I want. Well, but you think that's your thought. You mean, did mum put it in my head? I have no idea what any of this means, right? <laughs> Versus your desires are God's desires. People that are waiting for God to come down out of the clouds and give them the right answer. The right answer is your desire. What do you desire? God speaks to man only through the medium of his basic desires. Okay? This isn't about, okay, I win a million dollars. God, tell me how it will happen. Tell me what to do. No, no, no. You move into the state of your wish fulfilled, your actual wish, right? We've talked about this this week. And then once you're there, uh, you find yourself swimming or making a $25 offer, which is ridiculous. That ends up moving you around the world, right? This is what's fun, okay? But if you try to, like, well, I'll wait for the divine guidance after I beg a lot, you know, <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Ivana. Ivana has joined I, the show. I know that when I can't see the word. Yeah, that's Ivana. <laughs> explain the word, it's <laughs> Or <Ivana>. her cousin. <laughs> oh, Hello. it could be a cousin. By the way, this is from this article today. Look at that. It's upside wow. down because we're in Australia. But, but if you're on the maybe, email list. Maybe they see that the right way. I don't know. Which one did we see the right way? I can't remember now. Couldn't tell you. Um, they're all laughing. I guess it's back to front. I guess right. it's back to front. <laughs> now, remember? Anne said a little while ago, just really Anne. quickly, yes. Anne's signet. I uh, can't remember properly your last name. And uh, a, a question. She said, Hold on. so. A question. That was yesterday. Be thankful for and the test. good things, for more good things to show up question mark. That's crazy. Right. Yes. Well, oh, so, 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 so you... I'll, now here's the thing. You're obviously going to be thankful. I sit down in Victoria to have this lovely salad. I don't stop and go, it is time for me to be thankful because I'm eating a yummy salad. I just go, fudge, this is good. Right? Obviously yeah. I'm thankful for it. Right? Yeah. But if you have to sit and go, right, hold on. I, I think this is good. Let's be thankful for it because I think it's good. Right? That's called talking yourself into it. Okay? There's this thing called talking yourself into things, right? Uh, by the way, Victoria. Yes. Hold on, let's wait for that. Truck. All right. So, Victoria. Yes. Has anyone ever talked you into oh, a date? Tess Harris joined in. I saw Tess. Willie's. Hello. Yeah, Willie's Tess. That's we were right. talking about you yesterday. We, we were talking about Willie yesterday. Too. He's competing with you. Yes, He's doing I am. A lunch I'm show. doing my best. <laughs> yes. So, uh, did anybody ever talk you into a date? Yes. How'd it go? Someone talked me into marriage once. <laughs> yeah, how'd that go? <laughs> Not good. Not good, right? <laughs> so, so, if you got to talk yourself into thankfulness, it's really not something that you probably want, right? So if you're thankful, right, say, you know what, seriously, I'm thankful we live in Australia and we've got our neat little plot and you can see the hoose yeah. in the background, all that good stuff, right? Yeah. yeah, by the way, when you come to Australia, well, you're not going to rent a mansion. Okay, let's talk about bullshit for a second. Ready? If you surround yourself with riches and lovely things, the vibrations will rub off of you and you'll decide to want more. So what we're going to do is rent a mansion for you to hang out in, and we're going to drink $90 bottles of wine so you can experience that. And so, and we'll arrive in our gold-plated Jaguar. Right, which we will rent. <laughs> and by the way, yes. you, what you should do is surround yourself with five... La, la, la. Okay. See, if you surround yourself with five people that are much more successful than you, you will... You get all that's denying the pearl. Right? Just to be blunt, you don't go hang out at a mansion to pick up a vibe or yeah. to expose yourself to niceness or you surround yourself with five people that make ten times what you do so that you can make more money. If you move into a state of making much more money, you're going to find something happens. You're going to find yourself naturally with people that are doing that. Are doing that. that. You're yes. not going to find yourself people going, I hope I can get a job. 
right? Yeah. Very different, right? Where does it all come from? Mm. Anyway, thankfulness. Genuine thankfulness. So, Neville's third way to pray? Simply feel thankful that what you've desired has already become your reality. Consciousness is the only reality. Mm. And if you believe in the reality of your imaginal act, Laurel, by the way, is a great example of this. Okay, two years ago, yada, 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 film, 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 film. She assumed the state of the film, mm. crushing it. And guess what? Laurel, I don't even know where the hell she is in the world now. Yeah, she I mean, was she's... standing in Argentina or something. Oh, yeah, she gets around. It's like, hey, let me stop in Melbourne, give you some cigars. Yay, I love when people stop by and give me cigars. Seriously, it makes yeah. my day, right? Yeah. And then we go see a movie that, for some reason, somebody Cools mentioned in. Not yeah. just us, right? Or Bill Perry, but never, right? So again, back to the plot. I'm thankful for this stuff. It's not like, <laughs> thankful you're coming. <laughs> get it? But Laurel is back in New York City for a New York minute. But you get it? She moved into the state of it's already done. So let's hit speed. Ready? Whenever you're thankful for it, knowing that consciousness is the only reality, that it's already taken care of, you're not going, I hope it happens. And you're not going, I hope it happens soon. Yeah. Okay. Who can make it happen? Who can make it happen? <laughs> How can make it happen? How yeah. can I sell myself into slavery? All those <laughs> things. Yeah. So you get, we're finishing the week with a way to surrender, a way to yield to your desires. Okay. What was day number one, Victoria? What did we do? Uh, we noticed what we yielded to yep. and how we did it. Yep. Using the tools. By the uh, way, you get this as another way to yield. Yes. Yeah. This yes. is what's fun. Yielding to being thankful. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Mm. See, I'm thankful uh, for the workshop experience that's coming up in April, but I've already experienced having you here, okay? We're, we, you know, we'll, we'll invite you down, come on down, see, you know, yeah, hang out at, at our lovely home. Yeah. Don't come to the rented mansion, right? Don't walk, drive around in the rented Jaguar to impress well, yourself. Well, we probably will be renting a place to hold it in. Oh yeah, well, a place yes. to teach. But right. you can come to That's us. not gonna be a freaking mansion <laughs> with all. I want yes. you to hang out by the pool during the break and imagine what it would be like if you had this in your life, which you don't, that's why we rented it for you. <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. So that was day one. Day one. Yield. Day two. Was well, slavery to sequence and slavery to settling. I need to hit the lottery so my soulmate comes back because he's a gold digger. <laughs> Boom. Right? <laughs> That's sequence. Then he'll stay with me at least <laughs> if right. I win the lottery. No, but you know what? Maybe if I just went slavery to settling on the other hand is maybe if I just got a good job. Then he'd come back. You know what a good job is? It makes good money? It requires that I can be at home like most of the day with him? Well, I could be a stripper. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining being a stripper, right? Some guys like chicks with big bellies and little boobs. Or guys big that boobs. dress up like chicks with no boobs. Or... Right. And there was something about Joe in a dress. Uh, so, so then there was Wednesday. What do we do Wednesday? Now this is where I start to get a bit faded. All right. Well, I uh, can look it up, but we're on the wrong machine. Do you remember? No. <laughs> so, so what did we do Wednesday? So what did we do Wednesday? So we um, had slave we or slave day, so on and so forth. Postpone. Was that uh, Wednesday? Maybe. I mean, that was Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, postponing the party of you. You're the party, right? When you get that, it's not like, you know what? I'll be happy when he comes back. Okay, I'll imagine the lottery. Now, I can't feel that as real, but I could be a stripper. That'll work. So, yeah. I'll imagine being a stripper. So, he comes back, then I'll be happy. That's postponing the party of you, right? You're the party, okay? When you imagine, okay? By the way, when she lives from the state of Garden Girl, the garden responds. But if she comes out and goes, there's a lot of weeds here. There's a lot of, oh, work, a to lot of work to do. <laughs> weeds and work, work and weeds. <laughs> yeah. I could become a stripper. Someone else could do this. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> right? <laughs> Crazy. And yeah. we forgot what Wednesday we was. We forgot, apparently. yeah. I don't know. Do you, any of you <laughs> guys Anybody know? Is anyone Anybody here? Comment? <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> Nobody cares. Right. <laughs> All right. Wednesday doesn't matter. It's in the middle of the week. And Bill Perry wasn't here. So... I guess. Sorry, my eyes are floating all over. I keep forgetting to look there. Yeah, we got to put a little okay. sticky thing on that. Yeah. Meanwhile, back at the French. Yes. Shall we tell them where to go and what to do? Uh, we need to find out first. What'd you learn? What'd you learn? Oh, yeah, we got to look at that thing. What'd you learn about you? What'd you learn about you? 
And what is your best bit? What was your best bit, Gary? So you had the one uh, postponing, yes. That's right. There was another. Yeah, there one. was another one. Hello, Gary. Maybe we'll remember what it is. <laughs> so fast, it just passed us by. By the way, the point of today's thing, right? Yes. Speed. You're not going to be feeling it's slow if it's already happened. You get it? An electron doesn't exist between levels, right? <clears throat> Again, this is one of the rare times you're going to hear me quoting anything about quantum mechanics or something. The electron is here or here. It doesn't exist between here. That's what they tell me, right? Mm. Okay, so you're not going here to there. It's right. Go to there. Look back at whoa, right? Speed, speed taken care of. Um, Meanwhile, one we thing did the I was things. just going to say was we mentioned something during the week, and I just don't know if it'll be a trigger for you for the full thing cool. about um, actually getting rid of the word imagine. Yeah, I mentioned that somewhere. Yeah, because yeah. you'll think you're saying, don't imagine it out there about how obviously it's got to feel it. From when people being, imagine something from the and go, the, but that's yes. what's real, right? The oh. imaginal experience, mm. uh, boom. Okay, I All guess right. it didn't Not trigger didn't. anything. Nope. And, that was good. <clears throat> right, us. So, freerealfun.com. Yep. Manifestingmasterycourse.com. Yep, it's a buck a day, right? And By the way, th this is where they say I suck up marketing because you shouldn't diminish it, right? They say, well, you shouldn't say it's a dollar a day. It uh, makes people think, right? Uh, used to yeah, be five bucks a yeah, day. It is a dollar <laughs> a day, right? Let's be honest. Again. Or it's a hundred bucks. So you shift a day, it changes your life, all that good stuff. But it's the difference between, right? Uh, we toss a lot of random stuff up on the shows. There's a lot of sound bites, a lot of little lessons and stuff. But 90 experiences designed to have you move from one thing to another. Mm. Very specifically selected. In a specific order. Uh, in a yep. very specific order, and you get guidance. Yeah. Boom. Right. I. But, yeah. <laughs> There's only two kinds of people that complain to me about manifesting mastery. Ready? Mm -hmm. Those who, honest to God, are, are terrified of that their religion might be wrong. Oh my God! I can't believe this because that would mean if I, 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 what if I go to hell, right? Yeah. Well, if that uh, means I've got to rethink you, my yep, entire you, life. Yep. You, <laughs> you, you get you get to let that stuff go because you're already in hell if you're concerned about where you're going, right? Mm. You're already there, mm. right? Oh my God! What if I go? What if I go? What if I, you miss your whole life worry that you're going to go to hell? Been there, by the way. I was that guy. Okay. <laughs> I grew up denying my desires, and the other kind of person that complains to us is the people who don't do the exercises. They just don't do them. It's like, well, yeah, what'd you do? Uh, I, I tried a couple of them. Yeah. No, try, uh, trying means you pull up to the thing at McDonald's and they say, can I help you? And you stare at it, right? You don't stare at it. You say, I want whatever you buy at McDonald's because I don't go there, no. right? <laughs> yeah. By the way, Gary says, the more you listen, the less you spend. I'm on my third round day 82. So you're, oh, good. you're essentially spending 33 cents a day for Yes, it. and when you do it like five times or six times like Tamika, Oh yeah, to make well, us spending like 20 ups. cents a day. Yeah, she'll end up spending like, yeah. like a penny a day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? And for some reason, she's got this massive business, actually two businesses and a bimmer. And uh, I think when she started, she was hoping to get a job or their husband to get a job or something. I don't know, I, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Yasmin says, oh yeah, just do it. Can someone send me a link to this course with the 90 lessons? Absolutely, Rhonda, go to freenevel.com. You'll see it linked to in almost all the success stories or <clears throat> manifestingmasterycourse.com That's right. Go Man there. Manifesting Mastery Course. And all the testimonials, com. everything to do with it's fair, isn't uh, it? Well, there's there's probably about 40 little testimonials on the sales page. Yeah. <laughs> sales page. Never well, call it a sales page. There's loads on freenevel.com. So. Right? It's what it is. I'm yeah. called an honest guy. Look at that. I didn't even shave today. It's yeah. Thanksgiving somewhere. <laughs> Meanwhile, back to the French. And Pauline's on the second round and Judith just joined. Second. Oh, no, not just Judith. joined. She's, She's watching. watching. Yes. Judith is watching. <laughs> Thinking, there we go, Sheena. Right, thinking of versus thinking from. That was the one of the shows that Excellent. we Excellent. Was that NJ? Oh, yep, that was the one word ten blessing out of blocker. Ten, right? NJ. The one word blessing blocker <laughs> is yes. if rich, I'm thinking of being rich, I'm thinking yes. of money. Rather than from. Right, from. Perfect. Right? Yes. Boom. Yeah. Thinking from comes from having moved. Yeah. Right? Thinking from loving puppy dad. By the way, before we had puppies, we were still planning the garden with their safety in mind. Okay, you get it? Mm. Thinking of puppies, puppies would be nice. You know, they're furry. Puppies would be nice. Yeah. They poop sometimes. Puppies yeah. would be nice. Yeah. I wonder what, like, we have to pay money when we have puppies to the government. Puppies would be nice. That's thinking of puppies versus thinking from puppy dad. 
right. And Victoria says, what do you think about this? I said, well, that's probably not a good one because that could hurt the dogs. But this, see, that would be good. What's the April workshop? We will be sending out details to Manifesting Mastery members in the next two weeks or so. But uh, basically, it's a two-day or four-day little workshop we're doing toward the end of April. It's going to be lots of fun. And it's, Has Angela and it's, Topping done Manifesting Mastery? I believe so. Have you done but, Manifesting Mastery, uh, Angela? If you want to get a flavor for what that could be like, uh, the live calls that we've been doing. Uh, the live calls are how we play. This is not going to be sit around and look at a fucking whiteboard, right? Mm. There will be no whiteboard in the room. Mm. <laughs> I guarantee it. And, I, and it won't be like four hours of lecture followed by a break with a meal, four hours of lecture followed by a break and a meal. Not it's a not chance. It's not going to be boring. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, am, I did not kick, kick the board. Um, the reason I asked Angela was, A, um, we're saying it's a prerequisite to come here yep. to have done MM, which you have. But also, will be when we email out the details, it will be to our Manifesting Mastery email list. Yep. So if you if, if you've done the course, you're on the list. It, you'll hear about it. If at the end there's somebody that didn't do MM that wants to come, we're going to charge you more, and uh, you might make it. But let's be honest, it's going to book, right? Yeah. It's just like the live calls. It's going to limit the numbers. Yep. We put up the live call thing. They book within 72 hours, and then. 40 hours like this. Yes, After that, I hear from people that say, Can I join? Like nothing nope. you've ever done before. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that is correct. Absolutely. <laughs> cool. All right. We're going to the dog park, Victoria. Yes, we are. I love you. I love you too, babe. <laughs> I do. And we're going to go quick. It? All right. All right. That's it, guys. Have a lovely <clears throat> day. Jackie, have a lovely Thanksgiving. You and oh, the yeah. little ones, and yeah. the big one, <laughs> and the silly ones. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Have a great day, guys. Tell them where to go. See you in 72 hours. That's right. It's our weekend. Yep. <laughs> and happy Thanksgiving. That's right. See you Monday. Go to feelthatrealfun.com. Feelthatrealfun.com. Come to Australia. <laughs> <laughs>